The equation t equal to 1 over 0.0105 ln of a over 5,000 relates time t in years to the amount of money a earned by a $5,000 investment, which statement accurately describes the relationship between the average rates of change of t on the intervals from 6,000 to 8,000 and 9,000 to 12,000. Okay, so because we're asked to determine the average rates of change, we need to know the average rate of change formula, right? So if you're given some f of x function, the average denoted by that bar there is going to be f of b minus f of a over b minus a. And again, this is the average between the interval between the interval of a to b. So what I've done is I've entered this equation into the calculator. And if you have not done so yet, you should also do that. So I entered in uh, ln x over 5,000. There's no, um, I mean, we, uh, the, the variable to use on the graphing calculator is x, so we're not going to put in a. So it's going to be x, okay? And um, the way in which I'm going to show you how to do this is uh, we're going to call on the y1 variable here that's in this graphing calculator right now. So how am I going to do that? So I'm going to press uh, open parentheses, and I'm going to press vars, go to y vars, enter on function, enter on y1. I'm going to put in, there are two different things I have to test here. So there is uh, 6,000 to 8,000, and then the other one is uh, 9,000 to 12,000, right? So I'm going to put in the 8,000 first. All right, and then subtract it by, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press vars, go to y vars, uh, enter on function, uh, enter y1, and then I will uh, evaluate this at 6,000. Close parentheses, close parentheses. Divide it by, okay, what am I dividing by? I'm dividing by 8,000 minus 6,000, close parentheses, and then press enter. So the average rate of change will be 0 0.01369 or 0 0.014, okay? So the average rate of change, so the average is going to be 0 .010, 0 0.014 years, okay? And let's do the same thing again for 9,000 to 12,000. So let's go back over here. Rather than retyping all the stuff in again, I'm going to press second and enter. That will recall the last step. So th this is the denominator here, right? So I'm going to actually change this. I'm going to put in second, delete, and that will push everything over. I'm going to type in 12. I'm going to press delete once to get rid of the 8. So now I have 12,000 minus 9,000, right? So again, same thing over here. I'm going to get, press second, delete, press one, two, and then delete the eight, and uh, change that six to a nine, okay? So it's y1 of 9,000. And again, I'm going to press enter. So I get 0 0.0091. So I get, this is, so T bar here is 0 0.00, what was that again? 91. So looking at this, you can tell that the average rate of change from 6,000 to 8,000 is uh, high, is faster than uh, not from 9,000 to 12,000. So the average rate of change is larger for the interval from 6,000 to 8,000. That's option three.